Hello there! Today we're diving into two revolutionary ways to grow food, hydroponics and aeroponics. Both systems ditch soil, delivering nutrients, water and oxygen directly to plant roots. Hydroponics grows plants in a nutrient-rich water solution, while aeroponics suspends roots in air and feeds them with a fine mist. Each method has unique strengths and challenges. We'll compare how they work, what they cost, and which plants thrive best. Let's get to the root of the matter. Let's break down how these fascinating soilless systems work and explore the key differences between them. We'll be looking at hydroponics and aeroponics, two popular methods that offer unique approaches to plant cultivation. Hydroponics, in its essence, utilizes a support medium like perlite. This inert material provides a stable base for the plant, or clay pebbles, offering another option for root support and aeration. These mediums don't provide nutrients themselves. Instead, the roots are either constantly soaking in or being periodically flooded by a carefully balanced nutrient solution. This ensures the plants receive all the essential elements they need to thrive. A pump plays a vital role, circulating the nutrient solution, ensuring the roots get consistent nourishment and preventing stagnation. This constant flow is key to healthy plant development. The main idea here is direct delivery of nutrients, no soil searching required. The plant gets exactly what it needs, right where it needs it. Aeroponics, on the other hand, takes a different approach, suspending the roots entirely in the air. This allows for maximum oxygen exposure. The roots are then sprayed with a fine, nutrient-rich mist at precisely timed intervals. This ensures the roots receive the necessary hydration and nutrients without being constantly submerged. This maximizes both oxygen exposure and nutrient uptake, leading to potentially faster growth rates. However, it relies entirely on precise, automated misting systems. The timing and consistency are critical. If the system fails, even for a short period, the exposed roots can dry out very quickly, leading to plant stress or even death. Hydroponics, with its water reservoir, is generally more forgiving, while aeroponics, with its intricate misting schedules and reliance on technology, is both high-tech and high-stakes. No system is perfect. Each comes with its own set of advantages and disadvantages. When deciding between hydroponics and aeroponics, it's crucial to understand these trade-offs. So, let's weigh the pros and cons of each system to help you make an informed decision. We'll look at factors like cost, ease of use, water consumption, and potential yields. Hydroponics is generally more accessible, more affordable to set up, and more forgiving, especially when you're just starting out, making it a great choice for beginners who are new to soilless growing. The learning curve is less steep, and the initial investment is lower. It also supports a wide range of crops, from leafy greens to fruiting vegetables, giving you plenty of options for what to grow. Plus, hydroponic systems are often easier to manage on a day-to-day -day basis, requiring less intensive monitoring than aeroponics. But what are the downsides? Hydroponics typically uses more water compared to aeroponics, as the plants are constantly submerged or exposed to a flowing nutrient solution. Additionally, the growing media used in some hydroponic systems can harbor pests and diseases if not properly cleaned and maintained. Regular sanitation is key. On the other hand, aeroponics delivers the potential for faster growth rates and significantly higher yields, all while using far less water than traditional hydroponic methods. This makes it an environmentally friendly option. Aeroponics is also generally cleaner, with a reduced risk of soil-borne diseases affecting your plants. However, setting up an aeroponic system is often more complex and can be considerably more costly than a hydroponic setup. Furthermore, aeroponics demands constant and careful monitoring of nutrient levels, pH, and system functionality. Because any system failure, such as a pump malfunction or a nutrient imbalance, can quickly become catastrophic for your plants. In summary, choose hydroponics if you're looking for simplicity, affordability, and a gentler learning curve. But opt for aeroponics if you're aiming for peak performance, maximum yields, and are willing to invest the time and resources required for careful management. Cost and upkeep matter. Hydroponics is budget-friendly. 
DIY setups can be built for under £200 with manageable maintenance. Regularly check pH and nutrients and keep equipment clean. Aeroponics costs more. Home systems start around £120 and climb quickly. Maintenance is technical. Misting nozzles must be cleaned often, and power outages are risky. Hydroponics offers a gentler learning curve. Aeroponics requires diligence and backup plans. Pick the system that fits your budget and commitment. Let's talk harvests and the incredible yields we can achieve with soilless farming. Understanding the potential of each system is key to maximizing your output and ensuring a successful operation. We'll explore the strengths of both aeroponics and hydroponics in this regard. Aeroponics leads in speed and yield, especially when optimized for the right crops. The direct access to nutrients and oxygen allows for rapid growth cycles, significantly increasing the number of harvests you can achieve in a year. It's perfect for leafy greens, herbs and other fast-growing plants where a quick turnaround is essential. The efficiency of nutrient delivery translates directly into faster growth and higher yields. Aeroponics also shines in rapid propagation, allowing you to quickly clone plants and expand your operation. This is a huge advantage for scaling your production and maintaining a consistent supply of high-quality crops. Even NASA recognizes its potential and uses it for space farming, where resource efficiency and rapid growth are paramount. This highlights the technology's ability to thrive in even the most challenging environments. While aeroponics excels in certain areas, hydroponics still outperforms soil in most cases, offering better control over nutrient delivery and environmental conditions. Hydroponics is also capable of supporting a wide variety of crops, making it a versatile choice for growers with diverse needs. This includes fruiting plants like tomatoes and peppers, which can be successfully grown in hydroponic systems with proper support and nutrient management. Again, aeroponics excels with small, fast-growing crops, maximizing its efficiency and yield potential. However, it struggles to support heavy fruiting plants without significant structural modifications and support systems. Hydroponics, with its supportive media like coco coir or rock wool, is generally more versatile for mixed crops and larger plants. Therefore, choose aeroponics for maximum output of leafy greens and herbs. Choose hydroponics for flexibility, ease of management, and the ability to grow a wider range of crops. Ultimately, your crop choice should guide your system selection, ensuring you're using the most efficient and effective method for your specific needs. Which system is right for you? Beginners and home growers should start with hydroponics. Lower cost, simpler setup, and more forgiving. Tech-savvy or commercial growers seeking top efficiency may prefer aeroponics, but be ready for the challenge. Globally, hydroponics is empowering communities, especially in water-scarce regions like Africa. Aeroponics is emerging for high-value crops where disease-free growth is vital. Both systems represent the future of sustainable farming. Start small, keep learning and enjoy growing something amazing.